In this video, we're going to make the Eames Walnut Stool. And we'll primarily be using lines and three-point arcs, finally using the Revolve command to make it into 3D. So we're going to start using our line tool and make sure you're in the front view. Also important, take a look at the bottom of your screen and make sure your settings match mine. We want on Ortho, Object Snap, and Object Snap Tracking. So, starting with the line command, we're going to make a vertical line that's 15 inches long, and this will serve as our axis. Then, we will make some horizontal guidelines to use as construction lines, basically. So, coming out from the top, we'll have a line that's 6 and 3 quarter inches, with a 1 inch drop line coming off of that. Then at the bottom, we will have a line coming out from our axis line that's 5 inches, with a half inch line coming up. So you should have something that looks about like this. Then we will employ object snap tracking. We'll hover over the top corner here at the endpoints. We'll pull our mouse down without clicking, type in three, enter, and then pull our mouse off to the left, three, enter. Doing that again. Hovering over this endpoint, pull our mouse down without clicking, watch for those green dotted lines, two, enter, and then out, four, enter. Same thing from the bottom, line, then we'll hover over the endpoint, pull our mouse up without clicking, three, enter, and three, enter. Same thing, hover over this endpoint, up, two, and over, four. Finally, we'll create a guideline coming from the midpoint of our axis line, out 2 inches. So you should have something that looks about like this. Then we'll use our three-point arc to create the curves of the Eames stool. So this is a little artistic, it's up to you how this looks. But I'll snap at this endpoint, uh, maybe pick something around here, and click at the endpoint, and do that again, coming from the endpoint, out, and down. Now if I want this curve and this curve to be identical, I can use my mirror command, pick the arc, enter, and then pick the center line, enter, and I have an exact copy. Then I use my three-point arc again to create the bottom curve and finally the center curve. Once you have all of your arcs in place, you can go ahead and erase all of those construction lines, but make sure to leave the top and the bottom. Then, under Modify, we will pick the Join command, or type in J for Join, and select all of these curves to make it into one continuous polyline. You don't need to select the vertical axis. If it doesn't work, just do it again. Sometimes you need to do it twice to get all of the lines connected. Once they're all connected into a polyline, type in REV for Revolve, enter. Pick your profile, enter. Pick your axis, which is very handy because you already made it. And 360 looks perfect, so you can just hit enter again. And there you have it in 3D. To see it a little better, I'll switch it from a front view to an isometric and from 2D wireframe to conceptual so we can get a better look using my 3D orbit, I can turn my view a little bit to get a better look at the stool I just made. Looks pretty good.